Hey everybody, it's Suzanne A. Wells and it's time for another recap of Money Making Mondays. Now if you are new to my Facebook group, let me tell you a little bit about these finds. All of these items are verified actual sales by real people and I share them with you to show you that no matter who you are, a college student, baby boomer, empty nester, or retired, or a mom or dad or both with a busy family. You can be successful with the resources around you right now. So let's get started on this week's recap. Andrea found this vintage Barbie house. She paid $17 for it and it sold for $99. So vintage Barbie is a good seller. Keep an eye out for that and I'm not sure if this came apart it may have snapped apart and been you know easier to ship than it looks like here when it's assembled so always check that out when you're looking at larger items to sell but this would have been worth shipping no matter what size it was okay Amy paid three dollars for this vintage latch hook rug kit and it sold for thirty five dollars sewing supplies or needlework supplies any of these kits, old or new, can do well. Somebody may be looking for this exact item. So even if you don't think it's gorgeous and wonderful, someone else might. So always be sure to look those up. Okay, Lori, she found this Starbucks tumbler for 49 cents and it sold for $15.99. Now you may not think that's a hugely impressive profit margin, but Starbucks items are everywhere and a lot of them are pretty profitable but they're steady sellers you know the Starbucks logo is very recognizable one of the most recognizable logos in the world so this is a good steady seller and her investment was only 49 cents so keep an eye out for Starbucks okay Shailene found these riding britches for less than a dollar and sold them for $75 you can see there on the inner thigh area they've got the reinforced material for equestrian and if you're not familiar with equestrian wear or gear it is very expensive it's a very expensive hobby and the items have great resale value so put it in your brain that equestrian is expensive and if you see any of these funny looking pants with these reinforced inner thigh and knee area chances are it's it's something for equestrian okay Bonnie she found these in her daughter's closet and so her investment was probably nothing because her daughter wore them <laughs> and she was going to put them up for a buy it now of twenty four ninety nine but went with an auction just to see what would happen and they sold for sixty three dollars I'll say that pink anything sells better than any other color so uh, that was a great gamble she took there putting them on auction and uh, sitting in her own house didn't even have to go look for it it was right there the whole time so go through those closets and drawers you've got all kind of things in your house you can sell okay Jackie bought this Di uh, Disney vintage tropical sheet for 90 cents it sold for thirty dollars you may not be aware that uh, craft enthusiasts use sheets to make all kinds of products uh, they make curtains tote bags tablecloths chair covers all kinds of things and a lot of these will go to Japan because they are really into all the characters especially vintage characters so if you're selling something like this be sure to add international shipping it can definitely increase your selling price okay Robin bought this cashmere coat for $29.97 sold it for $79.99 now a lot of folks would walk away from this because uh, 30 bucks is a little much to pay for a coat but she made she doubled her money and uh, this is just another case of anything can sell any time of year she posted this on June 3rd her sale was on June 2nd and it's a cashmere uh, coat so if you have it listed the season does not matter 
the items will sell. Some of you have things all piled up in your house thinking, oh, I'm going to wait till winter to list this. List it now. Those items can be making money for you right now. And if you don't have it listed, buyers will buy it from somebody else. So you're leaving a lot of money on the table by not listing off-season items. So that's my, my sermon for the day on uh, get your stuff listed so you can sell. Okay, so just a quick review of these items this week. Vintage has value. Sewing supplies sell. Starbucks items are steady sellers. Equestrian is expensive. Cash is hiding in your home. Sheets can be a craft supply. And if you have it, list it. Now if you want more information about the things that are already in your home that have value that you may not be aware of, download my free ebook, Cash Hiding in Your Home, and here's the link to download that. It will show you about 30 items commonly found in American homes that have value on eBay that you may not be aware of. So check that out if you haven't downloaded it yet. Share your finds with me. Email me at Suzanne at SuzanneAWells.com or you can just comment on this video or share your finds in my Facebook group Stay at Home Mom Selling on eBay. Come join us and see what other people are selling so you can learn from them. I want to thank this week's contributors. Thanks for posting your finds on the group and giving me permission to post them here. And until next week, Make your e-commerce business amazing. Have a great day. Bye.